All right, now we're here for the final video in this uh, series. So we've got our frame read here into the uh, display. We're going to go ahead and put our cable into the logic board now. And <clears throat> the easiest way to do this is to kind of fold it back and just go ahead and push it in the side here. Uh, it can be a little bit tricky to get in. So just take your time. And once that's done, you can go ahead and kind of fold it in on itself. Make sure you put the secondary cable on as well. Make sure it tucks underneath. It will almost kind of clip back into place. Go ahead and put our other display cable on here as well. There's little lines on them and you kind of want to line up with the uh, connector. So once you get them in nice and snug you can go ahead and push it down it'll clip back into place now if you have any display problems like it's not registering your touch or it, vertical lines on your display something really funky you can always come back in here and just reassemble these cables um, normally if you just don't get a picture this is where you're gonna find the problem is on the LCD cable or the display cable but uh, sometimes it can be a dead display so just be careful with that as well it might be nice to kind of test it if it's possible uh, before you put everything back together. Go ahead and put in our front facing camera. Make sure that the glass is nice and clean where we're going to put this in at. And it will clip back into place as well. Make sure that the board sits down nice and flush. Camera will sit in its hole properly. It's lined up. Next step is we're going to take this little cap on tape here that we removed off the connectors and reapply it. It just goes right on top of the connector itself. It doesn't have to go on top of the cable. I have a smaller one for the other display cable here. Well, there's not a lot to this phone. Um, if you haven't uh, taken apart the uh, back of the, the mid-frame portion, uh, really the front-facing camera and these cable connectors are what kind of is the internals of this. Everything else is held back together on this uh, back plate here. So we can go ahead and take this and push it back in its correct spot. It'll kind of clip back in. We can kind of fill it snap back together. Now you want to make sure this cable is put back down for the back here. And it may be easier to go ahead and, and put the screws in of the back portion uh, rather than I try to put the cables down first. You can go ahead and snap this one into place. It can be a little bit tricky. I'm not using a lot of force here. It doesn't take a lot to snap these back in. So don't force it into place. Just wiggle it around until it fits in properly go ahead and put in our rear screws here We're going to put them in all the way around the back side and the three or the four silver screws we have we're going to save. We have the one for the volume and power button and then the three for the emblem area. These don't have to be put in extremely tight. We don't need to strip anything or break anything putting that in. They just need to be nice and snug. The majority of these screws will have a, a little bit of that little Loctite goo on them so they won't back themselves out. So they don't have to be really, really snugged in there. Just get them nice and tight and then 
go ahead and stop there. So we'll take a few seconds to get finished. The two next to the camera. Go ahead and put this connector back on. I never actually got it to snap into place. We'll just kind of wiggle it until we get it to where we want it to be. In the bottom portion here for the volume button, it just has a little double-sided adhesive. Make sure you clip our battery connector back in. All right, now that we have our connector back on, our battery put back on, we can take our Motorola symbol and go ahead and put it back on as well. Now if you've bent the metal around it, uh, removing it, just try to get it as straight as possible. And kind of put it all down. Now, you don't have to put the blue piece on just yet. And I've actually found that it's easier to put it into the back of the uh, battery cover or the back cover before I actually lay it down, rather than trying to put it in right here. Uh, so actually that's what I'll end up doing. Um, with this particular one. Now unfortunately my camera uh, stopped recording for a second and missed uh, the next part. Really all I did was remove the little blue ring here and put our silver piece back down and screw it into place with the three screws. Just make sure that the corner of the silver piece is overlapping on top of the ribbon cable which is in the kind of the bottom left hand side here. You can see that the screws are in there. We're going to go ahead and put our power button and our volume button back in. It can be a little bit tricky, just make sure you put them in nice and flat. And put our volume button back in. Then we can go ahead and screw in the bracket uh, that holds these in place. Make sure your bracket's nice and straight as well. You may have to wiggle it around a little bit to get it to kind of fit uh, into the correct spot. And sometimes it can be easier to kind of press it down. Uh, if not, just try to wiggle your power button back and forth to pressing them. And that should get it to kind of sit in the right spot when you're putting it back together. Go ahead and take our screw and put that into the bracket now.
Here's our back piece. You can see that I put the blue piece in. You'll see that the adhesive is actually cut out into the shape of this little bracket. So we can go ahead and just put it back in the way it's supposed to be, just like that. And that'll let us put it on a little bit easier than trying to finagle it once we're putting the back on. Now the back has all this adhesive on it. If it doesn't seem sticky enough, you can go ahead and replace the adhesive just with the same kind of adhesive we used on the front screen. Uh, normally it's pretty sticky still, but if you have any spots that want to pull up, uh, you can just put a little bit new adhesive in that little spot. We're just going to use our fingers and work our way down the sides. Just make sure all the corners are in nice and flush. Go ahead and power the foam back on. And there you go. We have a working Motorola Moto X 2nd Gen. This is the glass only replacement. Um, or you can do the display replacement depending upon the videos that you watch. As always, I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and throw them down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. If you found the video useful, hit the like button. If you want to see future videos, uh, future phones, uh, go ahead and subscribe to me, and I try to do a couple a month. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.